Hey folks, welcome to another episode of Project Zomboid. I'm Drunk on Life, your host, and we are currently on the second story of a house deep in the woods, and we're about to go to sleep. We're kind of picking up where we left off. Ah, hell. Well, they're in the house. That's for sure. This is episode 7, day 9. In the last episode, we were going to head into town, but discovered somehow our car battery went dead. I'm going to eat something here. Maybe a can of roasted peanuts. That sounds delish for a morning uh, snack. And I'm a little bit anxious. Let's open these windows here. Uh, not open the windows, but open the curtains. Yeah, looks all right. It's 5.10 in the morning. All right, well, we're going to go downstairs and see what uh, what we're dealing with here. Um, so we were, this is episode seven, day nine. We've made it nine days, you guys. And in the last episode, we were going to head into town, but discovered somehow our car battery had gone dead. And I wanted to take the path of least resistance. Nothing in the house. Okay, let's drink some water. Or fill, fill our uh, water bottle, rather. We wanted to take the path of least resistance. So instead, maybe I should put my knife back on. Of going to town, we decided to investigate a dirt road that was just to the east of our safe house. And I thought I'd killed most of these guys earlier. Uh, but I mean, who knows? They, they could be creeping out of the woods. This is a fairly rural area that we're staying in, but with the insane pop zombie populations, you can expect little pockets of uh, zombies here and there. No place is 100% safe, you know? So we went down this road and uh, we came across a smattering of homes, summer homes and whatnot. Oh, come on now. Come on, drunk. Get your courage up. Let's go. Maybe they'll see us here. Ah, here comes one right here. Nice. We got her. She's running to the sound. <laughs> she missed me. She somehow, she heard the sound, ran to the sound, and missed me somehow. Gotta say with stealth, this is too easy. Oh, come on. Push you down. There we go. All right. There we go. There we go. So what are we going to do today? So we explored the southern part of this road. Today we are going to explore the northern part, but not before. I need to go down here. I don't think we've checked out this house thoroughly. I think it was getting too dark and I was getting kind of queasy. And, uh... Not, like, figuratively speaking, queasy. I know queasy here means that you're turning into a zombie. Me. I was getting kind of squeamish about going in. We want to check this this out right here, but we can't because uh, I'm going to have to break out a window or break down the door, which we'll do that here in a second. But before that, we I don't think we checked out this house. So we're going to go in here. We're looking for some cooking pots and obviously other things. Um, possibly some uh, skill books. I could still use a carpentry for beginner's book, an electricity for beginner's book. There's somebody right there. And uh, I think I have a mechanics for beginners already. Yeah, there's nothing here. It's all been wiped clean. But we're up early, 620. Uh, it's 20 degrees outside, which is nice. A nice brisk day. Carpentry for intermediates. I'll go ahead and grab that. Fabulous. So we can get all the way to level four uh, carpentry when we get home. So we're headed after this. We're headed to the northern half of this area. Hopefully uh, tonight we'll be back at our safe house. Safe and sound, you know? <laughs> I got to really watch my... Uh, I mean, I have a machete, but I don't have a lot of uh, bladed weapons anymore. And as you know, my preference for weapons is going to be bladed. I'm just not good with blunt. They make too much noise. That's the problem. And so if you're doing a stealth build, you know, the minute you start using a blunt weapon, you're going to attract a lot. And with insane zombie populations, it's really difficult to make kills when you're dealing with like uh, 10, 20, 30 of them, you know? 
right. I'm looking all right. All right, let's head back here. Now, I did do a no respawn for these zombies. So even though we're dealing with insane zombies populations, we can always... We can always uh, thin them out with the idea that they won't be coming back. So that's good. All right. Let's knock this down. I think I also need a trapping for a beginner's book as well. Anything coming? Doesn't look like it. Let's equip that in secondary. There we are. Nothing in here. Cordless drill we could use later on, but not right now. Okay, so there's nothing really up here. All right, giddy up. Let's go. I want to conserve as much energy as I can. We have plenty of time. Any zombies that we find uh, in our path, we're going to go ahead and kill. They are close to our safe house, relatively close. This is probably the closest area where uh, zombies could con congregate. We're going to come up here. There's a, there's a couple paths. There's a path up here that goes to the north. And then further up north, there's going to be another path. I, I know this because I did it yesterday. <laughs> our last episode. Go ahead and take care of this. These guys. This food, man. Just going right through me. I'm going to have to get trapping going pretty quick. I know that a lot of you guys were wanting to do, uh, see more crafting up here. Well, you're going to get it because, uh, apart from, uh, heading to town and buy and hitting the gas stations and grocery stores and whatnot, that's going to be my only choice really is going to be foraging for food. Just depending on how long I decide to stay out here before going into town. I want to see how close, come on. I want to see how close um, the lake is from the house. That's going to be one of my first agendas when I do get home. But we got this large expanse of uh, wilderness right to the uh, east of us, so feels good. And I'm just going to push these guys down. I got to conserve my blade. One of the things that I need to really work on, my maintenance is almost at level 2. You can actually increase your maintenance fairly easily by uh, chopping down trees. So I'd like to get my maintenance up higher because that would mean that the blades would last longer. And that's going to be really important considering the uh, rarity of bladed weapons that I've experienced so far. There's just nothing on these zombies. I don't, I thought that I had played with extremely rare loot before. Oh, there's a barn here. But I guess I was wrong. I guess I played with rare loot, not extremely rare. It's like a world of difference. There's nothing around. All right. I hear them. Let's call them. Because I don't see them. Okay, there's one right there. Maybe we can start to see them. Come out of that. There's a couple right there. Yeah, they're all going to be coming out of the woods and whatnot. There's two. Ah, too many. Four. Ah, uh, why did I do that? Okay. Keep him down. He's the fast one. All right. Got it. Yeah, super rare loot, you guys. Super rare loot means uh, it's it's the real deal. Let's go in here. It's up here. Nails. A plank. Not really much of anything. Now, I think that I can move uh, these bales of straw in front of stuff if I wanted to barricade stuff. But I'm not 100% sure if that's right. We'll go in this house. 
in here. Nothing downstairs. Go upstairs. Check it out. Dead body. Man, all these people just committed suicide in this area. I guess suicide is an, is an option when you're uh, in the zombie apocalypse, I suppose. We're going to take some antidepressants. I don't know what I'm get, what's going to happen when I run out of cigarettes, which is going to happen, I, I'm guessing, within the next 10 days. Provided that I live that long. I'm assuming antidepressants will ha probably take the edge off of my uh, nicotine withdrawals. But I'm not, I don't know. I've never had to deal with this before. Screwdriver. Decent weapon. If I need. I, I could be uh, disassembling this stuff. And I know some of you guys had mentioned that I'd probably be better off waiting for a skill book. So I'm hoping that I can find a skill book in one of these houses. I'm actually hoping there's going to be more houses. Up. Uh, north of us. But we'll soon find out. Bottle of Russian dressing. I already have a saucepan. Yeah, we'll go ahead and take this uh, cheese sauce. Soup and cheese sauce, that's good. Gummy worms I'll go ahead and eat right now. And an empty cooking bag, okay. Nothing there, let's go, go ahead and head further up north. Ah, another little building here. There are a couple over here. Let's go ahead and open this up. Ah! God bless America. They can push her down. There we go. Stomp on her. I can't get inside, so I'm going to have to uh, break out the, remove the glass. Of course, that's going to draw somebody. Where is it coming from? Where are they coming? Here comes one right here. Looking for uh, trees to m moving in the distance, and I don't see them, so. Might be all right. Nothing there. More nails. Probably should be picking up these nails. A firework rocket. I wonder what that does. Hmm. All right, we'll come up here. More over here, and every zombie that I kill is one less zombie in this world. So if you're wondering why I don't just skip past these guys, it's really, they're so close to the house. I'd sure hate for them to group up. Like I'll have a zombie party and then be like, hey, let's go head over to Kevin's house. Here he is, uh, he's got a uh, decent hors d'oeuvres. Maybe I can go ahead and push him down and get them and hope that there's some loot, but there's not, of course. Of course. It's a nice big field. Man, she won't go down. Fine. Fine. Have it your way. My goodness, this is a big field. Couple more up here. I've been thinking about what I'm going to do in terms of uh, strategies to hit the town. Like, I could go straight up the road. Like I said, I think it's about... It says, according to the map, it's about two kilometers, but which would mean it would only take, you know, roughly like an hour of slow walking, but it's really a little bit longer than that. Um, it takes about, it's going to take about four hours of walking. And I'm kind of curious if the lake is close by, if I can take the lake, you know, a path to the lake of the lake all the way to town, maybe I can get on the backside of it. I imagine that the populations are going to be all... It's been my experience, at least, that the populations are all centered around the streets. It's like they're just waiting for someone to pop up or whatever. Let them all come over here. It takes them a second to jump over. It's a decent strategy. There we go. Mm-hmm. 
nothing there. Jump over here. Ah, why? Why? Fine. Nice little light snow here. Okay. All right. Yeah, so I'm thinking that it's been my experience. I think that the last time I played a thief, uh, Will and Willie's story, I believe, um, what I learned was it's a lot easier to sneak on the back sides of houses as opposed to going straight up the road. So I might end up using that same strategy for uh, when we get into town. I know there's a hospital real close to the beach. I'm gonna follow this uh, this fence here and see. Yeah, I didn't go anywhere. I was just curious. Thought maybe it would be like it marks the. I guess it marks the end of this property. All right, one, two, three, four, five. Go ahead and take this as well. We are. Let's see if they can They heard me, of course. If they really heard me, or if they're just running to the sound. Yeah, one of them is just running to the sound. Here we are. Come on, push him down. Ah. Come on. There we go. Nice. So, so, so far, so good. 20, about, I would say about 20 zombies killed a day. I'm not trying to keep score or anything. I'm not, uh, obviously, I'm just trying to survive. And like I said, I don't want them to group up later on. That would totally suck. Oh, come on. Come on. Let me see, I can check these guys out real quick. Nothing. There we are. All right, uh, it's about noonish. So it means I have roughly 10 hours to get back to the house. There's a few more. Let's see if I can attract one or two. It's amazing they just really don't see me. I mean, sneaking might actually be present itself a problem when I'm trying to kill stuff. All right, back up. Don't want to get myself killed here. Ah. Okay, there's one down. Yeesh. Yikes. Here we are. Hate using my bladed weapons, but whatever. Ah, I found a rare book in the mix. Let's uh, remove the book cover and see what we got. First aid. Expert first aid. I don't need it. Of course, it's going to be something I don't need. All right. Keep moving forward. All right, so we're right here. If we were to go to the west, we'd go towards our safe house. It's about an hour away from this area. Nothing there. We've already been to this area right here. I'm gonna check that. Can't remember if I properly looted the backside. Let's go in here and just check again. See if there's anything we missed at all. Grinder head, chainsaw, nails. Take that propane torch. I think we have a gas, uh, a welding mask at home. 
I'm tempted to take these fireworks rockets. I don't know. They say they're a weapon. It just sounds like something that would make a lot of noise. Yeah, we're going to go ahead and take it. Where's the other one? There it is. And then another screwdriver. Okay. So maybe we didn't look at this. All right. Onwards. So when we get back home, what I'll probably do is mess around with, uh, with trapping a little bit, maybe next episode and start building some more. I want to increase my maintenance. So it means cutting down lots of trees and increase my carpentry up as well. I would like to find a foraging for beginners book. It would make things life a lot easier for me. Keep following up here. Looks like a house right there. Uh, you know what? That's probably the house that they went when there was uh, all that gunfire when I first uh, was exploring this area in the last episode. Nothing there. Of course. Of course there would be nothing there. Huh. All right, there's a few over here. Can I pull a couple away? All right, there's one. Quite a few of them. All right, they're so focused on knocking out that, that door, they don't really even uh, know I'm here. Not even yelling. Not even yelling at the Zambos. Anything over on that side? No. And this door, let her in. Or out, rather. <laughs> okay. I really should be using my beta blockers, but I'm going to save them for the town. I have a feeling I'm going to really need them. Stairs. Yeah. Another death. We got here. Electricity for trapping for beginners. There we go. Yeah, so we'll definitely um I'll read that book uh sometime between here and there, and uh we'll get on trapping and we're gonna learn some trapping we're gonna learn how to trap you guys i've been kind of looking at it and you can collect the easiest thing is to do like a bird trap to collect birds and i don't know how many calories a bird is going to give you but you have a chance of like 30 percent i guess every time that you catch something you get more experience so and i did a check and i think in winter you can trap I believe, unless uh, one of you guys want to tell me otherwise, I'm going to go with that. That's going to be my, uh... My, uh... I don't know what I'm saying. <laughs> it's going to be my prerogative, I guess. Unless you guys can tell me something otherwise. Alright, this there's nothing here. No windows. We can go ahead and drop our uh, duffel bag. Drop this one. Just in case there's a zombie inside. Don't need to be extremely heavy. There we are. All right, nothing in here. Hammer, which we already have. Barbed wire and a plank. Okay. Nothing there. Let's go ahead and pick it back up. And continue up, up the road. I 
Well, it is getting kind of late. It's 1450. I can't believe that I've spent the entire day doing this, but. More zombos in the trees over here. Should I go after them? I think I'm going to leave them. Yeah, you know what? I'm going to see if I can drag them over here. Because in the event that I do get stuck out here, I definitely don't want to have to deal with uh, zombie movements. There we are. All right, come on. Oh, come on. There's two of them. Fine, fine. Use my blade a little bit more. A lot of boxes over here. Looks maybe this is like some sort of construction site. I'm tempted to forgo the, uh, completely forgo the town until I check out. There's another section on this map that's right to the east, a little bit further through these woods that have like service roads, access roads as well. And I'm tempted to go over there and check. There's actually a lot more roads over on that side. You know, anything to, to kind of keep going on, I am going to have to worry about food. Because I thought that this might yield a little bit more food than what it actually did. See what else we have. Safety glasses. No. Corporate box. Box of balloons. Don't know what that's good for. Another little house over here. A little box of nails. We'll go ahead and take that. Yeah, hopefully we'll be able to find something. Yeah, this isn't really a house. More like a little storage area. 1550. I should head back. But I think I'm going to keep going forward. Take my chances and hope that there is a place for me to sleep if, if need be. All right. Run up here. Wow, this is a really long road, you guys. I'm really surprised. I feel confident that there's going to be a house. <laughs> I think. Or maybe this might lead into uh, the other service roads. I don't know. All I do know is I'm, yeah, I'm definitely going to have to hope and pray that there is going to be a uh, a house for me to sleep in because I am taking a big risk here. It's, I'm at I'm pretty much at the point of no return. I could turn around and walk walk back now, but uh, then that would mean I would have to come back here, and I don't want to do that. I want to go ahead and explore this as best as I can. Okay, so there's a little pond here. Maybe that's a lake. I don't know. I'm a little bit winded. Okay, more boxes over here. Another, I guess, construction site of some sort. And a couple of zombos. Yeah, maybe I'll just skip them. At least for a second. They saw me. So, right. Come on with it. I'm a little bit winded, so yeah, I'm just gonna take care of them. Be harder to push them down. I'm not weak, but uh, 
I have my problems. I don't worry about that propane torch. I'd normally grab it. I'm just a little bit overweight as well. Where is this road going to lead? Oh, there's a house. Okay, maybe I'll do that. Well, looks good enough to me. Let's go in here. Ah, it's not a house. Damn it. Let's search it. Well, this could be my fallback right here. But uh it's not it's not exactly the preferred fallback. It's corn, rotten corn. I'm gonna I'll grab that here on my way back. Just remind myself to to do that. Alright. Going up further. She saw me. Fine. Nothing there. I'm coming in at 8 o'clock at this point. Zombies start moving around a lot more around 12. Oh, Jesus. I hope I can find a place. I'm pretty much stuck in the woods. I can make a fire if I have to. Okay, here's, a, here's another house, and this is where the road ends, so... Oh, and there's a generator. Right in the middle of nowhere. Oh, yeah. All right, so I guess what I'm going to do here is I suppose... I'm going to stop here. We're going we're gonna to go to sleep. My name is Drunk on Life. You can call me Drunk for short. We'll continue this. Uh where we finished in the next episode. We'll see what happens because I am going to sleep here tonight. If you like Project Zomboid and like Let's Plays, you can always subscribe to me, like this video, yada yada, all that good stuff. Um, I do Project Zomboid videos Monday, Wednesday, Friday, three days a week, sometimes more, occasionally less, depending on life situations. You can also follow me on Twitch. I do Project Zomboid streams on Monday. That's twitch.tv forward slash drunk on life. And if you tweet, you can always Twitter me. That's the easiest way to, to access me. I'm at uh, twitter.com forward slash drunk on life. Just think drunk on life and you'll get there. But at any rate, I appreciate you guys following me um, or watching this and uh, hanging out with me today. And I will talk to you guys later. Bye bye.